Have you ever met a lost soul who told you that he has an equivalent lens to yours? Yours is full frame? I'm on APS-C, but it's also a 2.8. Let's shoot together sometime. Then you kick him in the kneecap like he deserves. Today we will prove that it's not equivalent. You think a Tony 2 Micro Four Thirds lens is the same background blur as a Tony 4. You've been told it. You read the book. You've been lying. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're on the Nikon Z63 with the Viltrox 9mm 2.8 APS-C lens. So we're in crop mode right now and they sent me the exact equivalent full frame. It's a 14mm Tony 4. And I've noticed this from micro four thirds to full frame comparisons. You can't just do that crop factor for some reason, the full frame still looks a little blurry. So something's off in the equations and we're gonna discover it today. By the way, one of you suggested that I point my blue light backwards towards the background so we can get a teal and orange lifestyle. You can blame him for ruining our episode today. My set looks like it was designed by a fourth grader. Moving along. So this lens, we're about to switch to it, but I did a couple comparisons just to see if I was losing my mind or what. Okay, so here we have the full frame image, 14 mil, Tony 4. We're gonna keep every setting the same, ISO 800, 50th of a shutter. We're looking at the Tony ball size here. Now we're gonna switch to the APS-C lens, which is technically a faster Tonyature, but are we gonna see smaller balls and are those balls gonna be further away from our face? Okay, now we're on the APS-C lens, and what I'm seeing is many things. One, it looks wider, the compression's definitely different, and it's also quite brighter. It's one stop brighter, and it should be. The, really, the debate of the equivalence is if you matched the full frame with higher ISO, it would still look cleaner than the APS-C. The real insult to humanity though is you could get a 14 mil 2.8 for full frame and then something you're never gonna match on that APS-C. There's no 9 mil Tony 2 lens, is there? I'll buy one through my own affiliate links. At this point I'd like to thank seven artisans for making a lens that can't focus as close as the others and ruining my test. Ah, oh, that's a bitch. Okay, if we do it side by side, now I'm not seeing, it's not wider the 9 mil like maybe barely but I don't know why it looked wider because it was brighter and the things were just revealed different so what I'm seeing now is the APS-C has a little it seems noisier but they're not exposed the same so it's hard if we match exposure or at least closely trying to then it seems they're very similar noise wise it's weird that these lenses don't match. The APS-C is way more saturated. I had to change a lot of things. It shouldn't be like that, but whatever. I'm confused. But if we look at the APS-C image and then we switch it over to the full frame, you notice the Tony balls grow a little bit. I don't know why they're hexagonal. That's like witch balls. I don't get that, but whatever. We're not stopped down. You're weird, Viltrox, with your designs but you can clearly see that it's not an exact equivalent, even though on paper they're very close. I'm just saying every time I've tried an equivalent lens, Micro Four Thirds with a Tony 2, it's less background blur than the Tony 4 full frame. The ironic thing is this full frame lens is slightly lighter than the APS-C equivalent version. And I've noticed that in several different comparisons. You think, oh, I went Micro Four Thirds to save weight. If full frame ever decides to design a lens with a slightly less Tonys to match your Micro Four Thirds Tonys, it'll be even lighter. In fact, Canon's already done it with the 800mm Tony 11. You have no equivalent. So full frame could at any moment just wipe out your whole life, any crop sensor, just by designing it. Now let's see if there's any practical difference. APS-C mode, we're about to switch. Nothing much should change, as we've seen, but it might slightly. Okay, what I've decided to do is raise the ISO one stop to match exposure. This is what we'd be doing in the real world. You have your 2.8 prime, you have your shot all set up. What if I was in full frame? 
you would have to raise the ISO with your slower lens. It's a slower lens, but the argument is from full frame guys is even with that raised ISO, you're getting less noise. Is that true, corner boys? Side by side, we're looking at the noise patterns. We're seeing something, something down there. One's, I, I haven't seen it yet. So like you're seeing it before me, full frame or APS-C just won your heart. Now, personally, what I would be doing is going back to the base ISO and raising my light switch. And now we have a little moody, dramatic scene here. Oh my God, darker background, but ah, teal and orange movie, slightly crooked lines all over the place, but that's, there's an eagle up there. Come on, it's a movie. So we're gonna go do a little vlog test because I have a feeling APS-C could have an advantage. That could be your one advantage stabilization because you're cropped in on my full frame sensor Technically, you shouldn't be warping as much. So let us do that now. So I've had a chance to look over the footage and it's just like we thought, the full frame had the cleaner, lower ISO noise, even though it was one stop more ISO. That's a bitch. And the background blur was a little more. It could potentially come down to the minor differences in these two lenses. One's 13.5 mil, okay. It's 4.2, not four, okay. Maybe you have something, I doubt it. Now I was walking hefty there. That, oh God. Wow. So we're on the full frame one, 14 mil, 24. And I made some notes. There's a couple things you're gonna wanna, just because the equivalence is not the same, doesn't mean, oh, never get APS-C then. There's a slight sliver more background blur. It's not like that, but there's a couple more advantages. One, companies try harder for a full frame. There's more features in. When I reviewed this little brother, I wasn't doing HD 240 because I didn't have it. There are no Nikon APS-C cameras with that spec. So it's like all these different little flavors. You get raw video in your full frame. It's the professional one. And there's so many more lenses. 3D popping lenses are mostly full frame. You could hold that right in there. 14 mil. Little side rant about 14 mil. Not my favorite length. I was happy with the 15 mil of the Canon 15 to 35, I was like, that's kind of fun. Once it went to 14, I don't know what it is. That one extra millimeter, it's too wide. I don't know why everyone's making these 14 mil lenses. Like, what do you even do with it? Even if it is architecture, it looks weird. It's all stretched out and weird. You weirdo. So it's like 14 mil, I don't know, man. It's not my focal length. I'd like to see this 16 mil 24. I mean, a 16 mil 25.6 pancake. Yeah, I'd be eating those house of pancakes. I'm curious now, little sun star test. Oh my God. Have you ever in your life? Oh, wow. That's the craziest sun star abilities I've ever seen. Not bad, this could be your ear life. I just have heaven coming out of my ears. Sorry about that. Do you mind? Good sir. When do they go away? 2014, 13, 11. They're kind of like just there all the time. Glorious Sunstar, 10, 9, 8. Still there, 28. They're, they're dissipating. Five, 5.6 5 kind of there. But the reality is this little equivalence is very rare to have an APS-C and full frame lens with the same specs. So like, if you have this like amazing lens you love, most likely it's there for full frame, not so much APS-C, there's hardly any. Like if you're in Sony, you get like hardly any Zeiss lenses. Although Sony at least has the APS-C camera with the full frame specs. A6700 has the 4K120, HD240, Nikon not so much, huh? Not so much. Doggy, there is, oh God, Sunstar doggy. 
Okay, let's switch over to the APS-C lens and see if the stabilization is better. Have the warping corners been unusable? Oh, hey, APS-C. Nice to meet you. Do you also have the glorious sun stars that we were witnessing? Yeah, you kind of do. Not bad, Viltrox. You're powerful. The mighty God has spoken through you. So are we a little less wobbly now? Little APS-C action. So the one advantage would be mostly, usually, APS-C bodies are also lighter. Like the Nikon Z50 Mark II, a little 550 grand. It's not super light. The Z30 was, but you just, you get no IBIS. You lose a lot of specs. Like a lot bad happens. So I don't know, man. I don't know where I stand. I like that 14mm Tony 4 though for vlogging, especially when you're in there. Nikon compensates, but rudely so. Shady and cold looking. So I have no more notes on my shill douching pad. So I'm sorry about that. The video's over now, but my duties have been fulfilled and we can all get along. Whether you're a crop sensor, one inch, mirrorless, Nikon has that. I wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind. They had phase detect and super ultra slow-mo in those Nikon ones. They had like thousands of frames per second. It looked not great, but they had it. Why don't companies give you things? Just like little bursts. It's capable of it, but no. You wanted that? I wanted it. Good luck to you, Shadow Man. I want to watch your show as well. What's it about? Ah, oh, I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see him get hit by a car. All right, so we're done. Thank you, Viltrox, for sending them out. Kind of fun little lenses. Whatever you got. Sony, just slap them on there. Sunstar your way through life. It's not bad. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. There's no pop whatsoever because it's a Viltrox. They don't listen to me at all, ever. That's fine. I went the wrong way. Ah, oh, that could have been so dramatic. Bitcoin is available. And you could subscribe for my other